Hello everyone, and today I want to show you how to set up the PvP Craft Discord bot on your Discord. So, first things first, head over to bot.pvpcraft.ca in your web browser and log in. Once you've done that, just go over to the server section. Now, what you want to do is you want to find the server you want to add the bot to in the list. So, there we are. Click it. If the bot isn't on the Discord, it'll bring you to this screen to add it. Now, before we do that, I'm just going to set up the channels real quick. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up music, uh, a fun commands channel, say Minecraft, and a moderation log. Just key those in now. Also, we're going to look at taking, uh, creating an admin rank, a DJ rank that has some more permissions for music than normal users. And just for the fun of it, a, a joinable rank. So let's just call it user. So now just new server is already selected here. You can give it administrator if you'd like, or you can go in after and give it whatever permissions you want. So you can see the setup here, uh, the prefix for the server. Now you can remove the slash 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 or exclamation mark exclamation mark. Uh, well, you can't remove them, but you can add anything else. So for example, a star there and star is now one of the prefixes. So you can see if I type slash ping, uh, oh, is one of the only ones that doesn't require permission to use. So that's showing up there with that prefix. So now we're going to set up the music channel so that we can use the music commands in here and only in here. So, see right now, does nothing. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is allow music.star in, uh, in the hashtag music channel. So I select hashtag music here, and then I type music.star in here. You can find all the permissions on the documentation page. Uh, so if you just look at the music section, music.init, all the music commands start with music, and then dot destroy, play, whatever, depending on the command. So music.star is going to be music and then everything that could possibly follow behind it. So just allow that. You've created that permission node, channel music, all groups and users, and then music.star. Now if I type you can see the bot will jump to music.init into, don't have permissions for it. Uh, so that's actually a default configuration uh, will have that, but I've denied all the permissions for myself in this Discord. So now you can actually see this. So in order to allow the user to initialize into a specific voice channel, say general, you can allow music.init into in that voice channel. There we are, and the music will start flowing. Fantastic. So one of the downsides of setting it up this way is that any random user can just destroy the music and kind of ruin everyone's fun time. So going to go music.destroy, channel hashtag music, and deny that. So now people can use all the music commands other than the slash destroy command. And we're going to do the same thing with force skip. And deny. So now you do have some people that you want to be able to use that. Say, for example, your DJ rank. So you're just going to select DJ and allow. And then once again for destroy. And basically what you've set up here is the people with the DJ rank can force skip and destroy. And then the people without a rank can run all the music commands so they can play stuff, they can queue stuff, they can vote skip stuff, but they can't force skip stuff and they can't like uh, unbind the bot from the channel. Kind of a setup I like to go with on most discords. Uh, so then, Set up something like the Minecraft stuff. So if you look at the documentation, just control F, Minecraft. All the commands start with Minecraft dot whatever. So just hop over here. 
Minecraft.star for all the Minecraft commands. Channel Minecraft. Uh, group user, just everyone. And you can see that runs some pings pvpcraft.ca for us. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to set up some of the mod log stuff as well. So the mod log stuff is under feeds. Feeds. This is the feeds module. Here's the one or two commands for it and the available feeds you can choose from. So these are all things you can enable in the channel. And you can't deny feeds and allow feeds the same way. You can start and stop them, and you'll see it won't work quite the same way. Uh, you can't kind of use them as a negative and allow everything but a certain thing by starting everything and stopping that certain thing. But they do work out quite well. So first things first, I need to give myself the permission node. So this is more of an admin thing. So I'm going to do all channels, and I'm just going to give it to the admin rank. And what were they? Feeds. So admin rank gets all the feeds. And I'm going to start something voice specific. So let's, uh, let's log all the voice leaves and joins. So log all the... Feed to feeds. It is probably still feed. There we are. So that's pretty much how you set that up. And then if I leave and join the voice channel, you can see the voice leave event and the voice join event getting logged. Well, thank you for watching, and if you have any further questions, feel free to let me know.